Hey everyone, uh, my name's Darren. Um, I'd like to talk about um, some experiences that have happened to me in my life. Um, when I was 28 years old, um, I developed schizophrenia. Now I've had probably five or six episodes of what they call psychosis. Um, this happened when I was in England, I was staying at my auntie's house. Um, so for 28 years of my life I've never had any problems, nothing at all. I wasn't on drugs or anything at the time like that, I was completely sober. Um, and it, it came on very suddenly, it was very strange. Um, I remember laying down in my, in my bed in my auntie's house, I'd just lost my job as a chef. And I had this really strange, bizarre um, sort of energy sensation go through my head, very powerful. Um, but it, it felt very sort of divine. It was a very strong, divine, sort of holy type feeling. So I could only describe it as God. That's the only explanation I can come up with. It was a very strong, divine feeling. And that was the first time I had a psychosis. Every other time, five or six other times, I didn't get that feeling. So I'm not sure why. Um, I, have, I do suspect that it was... It was almost like something, or probably not someone, but something had switched something on in my mind, um, and it caused this this sensation, this feeling, um, to go through my mind. Um, I remember that night; my thoughts were very scattered, jumbled all over the place. Um, I remember being very scared. Uh, my perception of how it is now, now now that I'm not in a psychosis, just having a normal sort of frame of mind with logical reasoning. Um, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't um, anything like that. It was, it was completely scrambled and I couldn't sort of reason properly. It was, it was strange. So it turns out that it was schizophrenia according to the doctors, but there's a horrible stigma attached to schizophrenia. A lot of people have this, sort of image in their head of what it is and, and the people of what they're like who have it but without actually researching it properly themselves without actually knowing what schizophrenia is so I'm not having anything like that at the moment I haven't for just over a year now I think it was March 2018 was the last time that it happened to me um, the first three times I had my psychosis it lasted probably for somewhere around three to four months each time so it went on for a long time but the, it, every time it happened particularly the first time I thought that my life was always going to be like that the way my mind went and I'll explain in a minute or later on how my mind goes when you're going through a psychosis um, so I thought my th my thinking, I thought what was going on and what was happening to me was going to stay like that and was I was going to be like that forever um, and so it almost drove me to suicide on, on certain occasions um, I I'd certainly thought about it, I didn't want to in my life but I didn't see any other way out of it so those thoughts did come to mind um, as much as I didn't want to do that but anyway, I'll get to how how your mind is and, and what's going on when you're having a psychosis. Um, it, it's like everyone knows your thoughts. Everyone knows exactly what you're thinking. You've got no privacy. You've got no secrets. You've got no sort of private thought to yourself. Um, whatever you think at the time everybody knows um, and that's what it feels like to you it's, it, it's, it's a very scary thing to happen um, I was actually amazed by it um, I would go onto YouTube and type up famous people like uh, Eminem and, and famous rappers and, and other just famous celebrities um, I've watched the videos and, and it was as if they were talking to me directly. Um, 
it wasn't a case of are they talking to me it was they are like it was it was the most bizarre thing to happen um you know i had no privacy um any time at all I, I, I walked down the street, it was like, uh, or even just sitting in my room, like right now, um, there was this very strong feeling of I was being watched. Um, it wasn't, again, it wasn't a case of, am I being watched? Is that really happening? It was a case of, yes, you are definitely being watched, 100%. I had no idea by whom or by what, um, but, but I was being watched. I didn't shower for months, going to the toilet was a nightmare, um, it was very scary, um, but it, it, it messed my mind up, um, but the whole mental communication thing was something that I can't quite put my finger on, because I was able to talk to people mentally through the television, I could just switch any channel on, and they would just talk to me straight away. Um, they would just be communicating to me. Um, so it was uh, very, very strange, very, very weird. Um, I ended up in a mental hospital um, a few times. I think on almost every occasion it happened to me, I think I ended up in a mental hospital. Um, it was uh, very strange. Um, so Another way to try and explain to you of how the, how it works, this whole um, psychosis was, if you think of a question in your mind, just any random question, um, I, I don't know, is the sky blue, for example, and you, you're sitting on a bus and you think that, it would get answered somehow by someone maybe driving, and they got their thumb up like that, or you'd look across and someone would be nodding their head. And but it was it wasn't just like that on one occasion. It was every single question, everything that you think of, absolutely everything, um, was all in one mind. Like everybody knew my thoughts. I was almost sort of put into a different sort of reality. On on. On the earth, it was very weird. <clears throat> um, you know, I would listen to music. The music would talk to me. It would be saying things. The TV, um, reading, reading a newspaper. You know, it, as if it was talking to me. Um, it was just a, a really strange, really bizarre experience experiences it's happened several times um, but luckily it's just been over a year now since it hasn't happened um, there was also other weird things that happened I could see these lines um, like a line a line a line but they were sort of shining like a, like a light but they'd come down in streams and I'd sit there in my bed looking up at the ceiling and I could see these lines going across and then they'd change, they'd come in patterns of two, then patterns of four um, really bizarre, I don't know where or how that happened um, I remember I could hear the Pokemon, there was all these hallucinations as well uh, uh, hearing hallucination as well, not just uh, not just voices and, and uh, you know, through music and, and the television, uh, but it was also, um, I could hear this Pokemon soundtrack in my ear, every time I pushed in my ear like this, I could hear the Pokemon soundtrack, it was very, very strange. Um, what other things? Um, I remember seeing an owl, I was at a hostel, and, um, and temples, I remember there were temples, uh, like a pyramid, that, that were coming through the window. Um, it first started out as lights, they'd sort of flash around my head, around my eyes, like um, lights from a sparkler, you know, like a sparkler going off. 
I'd see sort of three or four sparkle flashes go around my eye and then it would happen again the other side and then that, as the day got on probably went on for about 15 or 20 minutes and it got stronger and stronger and I thought it was some sort of game that was going on um, and so I'd sort of try and hit hit the lights with my hands and my elbow so I'd sort of be hitting them I thought it was some sort of game that God was playing with me or something it was strange my, my thought process was really scattered at the time so that's the only logical way that I could think at the time and that's what I thought was honestly was going on there was this game and I remembered hitting these lights and then it got stronger and stronger and then they turned into these sort of pyramids coming through the window like you like you see an arcade arcade uh, machine arcade machine um, and then I remembered it got stronger and stronger and it, uh, it turned into this owl I could see this big owl outline of an owl and it was just glowing right in front of me um, the way it wasn't an owl like you'd see outside a, a 3d owl it was just uh, like a drawing of an owl but it was like shining lights um, it was just like a drawing yeah it's the only way I can describe it um, so that was that that happened but I think the scariest part of the whole thing of schizophrenia or the psychosis is uh, the fact that everyone knows your mind um, you've got this really strange mental communication going on which um, I mean it wasn't all bad I was actually amazed and, and really astounded by what what was going on and what I could do like mentally communicate through the television with people um, it, it, it amazed me honestly um, I stopped my medication on purpose at one point because I wanted the psychosis to happen again um, but I think the bad outweighs the good um, it, it becomes very scary um, so yeah the scariest part of it is the is the whole one mindset is that is that everyone knows your thoughts uh, everyone knows your mind whatever you're thinking at the time people know what it is again it was not a case of do they really know what it is it was yes they do it was very scary um, you've got no privacy whatsoever um, so there's absolutely no secrets um, everyone knows your thoughts everyone knows your mind um, so I'd just walk around town uh, I'd ask questions in my mind it would get answered by people in some way or another and somehow walking past people hearing what they're saying they'd answer it perfectly um, it wasn't as if it was like uh, They'd, they'd say something and it didn't make sense to my question it was perfect every single time so it was it was something definitely going on um, I'm trying to explain this as best I can but it's very difficult because I guess the same of anything in life you only uh, understand it if you experience it um, your whole perception changes you um, People, people could ask a question and you could interpret it in a hundred different ways um, it, yeah you, you perceive things in just a, a completely completely different uh, light it's uh, very strange um, so I haven't had a psychosis for just over a year now so March 2018 was the last time and and that only lasted a few days that time for some reason. I'm not sure why it's left me with unanswered questions. Uh, I believe that there there is a, a higher power. There's something. Um, there's something bigger afoot going on in the world. I think there's something uh, definitely um, going on out there. Um, I mean, I, I could go on about a lot of different things that, that, that happened to me while I was having this psychosis. I, I believe I was a prophet at one point. I remember picking up a Bible when I was in the mental hospital in England. I read a couple of chapters and then believed I was a prophet. It just, it just happened. I just thought, wow, that's what's going on. Um, 
you interpret things in a very different light. Um, you know, the doctors call it schizophrenia and they put a name to something that's going on with someone and, um, you know, they call it a mental illness and all the rest of it, but I don't believe it's like that. I, having experienced it firsthand several times, for a long time as well, each time, I think there's something a, a bit deeper going on uh, in the world, but I can't explain it. What I can't explain the most, which confuses me the most, is that people can understand your thoughts, they know your thoughts, whatever you're thinking. I could have a conversation with someone, you know, a celebrity on YouTube, some famous person, um, I could have conversations with anyone through your mind, and yet when you speak to them and ask them, they don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so I, that's one part of it that I just can't get, I don't understand. So obviously I guess, you know, they don't have that mental capability and that's not happening with me and yet when I'm sitting here watching the television they're talking directly to me um, I remember the voices used to tell me um, I think the biggest thing out of all of them was to get fit and healthy I always remember that because it happened on the first second third and fourth something like that times I had a psychosis it was always stop smoking, um, get fit, get healthier, start running, all this sort of stuff. Like, I'll give an example. This is how I'd get the voices. This is how, would I, uh, this is how I would interpret them. Um, I would think, uh, should I get healthy? Should I get fit? And then all of a sudden, everyone around me in the park would be nodding their head. And then people would be shouting, yes, you know, all this sort of stuff. Um, and if it was ever a negative question, you know, um, I don't know, should I hurt myself, then it would always be no, and people would answer in a negative way, like you'd see someone with their thumb down, or, or something like that, or someone just sort of shake their head, you'd interpret it, and, but it was, again, it wasn't just one or two questions, it was every single time, you know, it's too many coincidences, can't just be, you know, happenstance, you know, it, it can't just be a coincidence if it's, you know, four or five hundred times this has happened, you know, so I think there's definitely something more going on out there, um, I'm not really sure how, how else I can describe the uh, schizophrenia as a people, but I've given it my best shot, I've been meaning to do this video for a long, long time probably for four years now. Um, I hope I've explained it as best I can. Um, if there's any questions, just leave a question, leave a comment. I'll try and answer it as best I can. Um, but I think that's, I think that's everything. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.